Assuming you've already gone through the settings and set those up and then set up your staff, now you're ready to set up some jobs. Jobs are what crews are gonna track their time against when they're uh, clocking their time into element time. The first time you go to jobs, you're gonna see two jobs already set up for you. One's called shop and one's called office. Those jobs are so that you can track downtime or, or time where your employees are getting paid but not actually being billed to a customer. We've set those up for you as samples and then you can open those up and expand on them in any way you see fit or you can create more of those kind if you want as well. I'm gonna show you how to set up a job for a customer, something that a, uh, uh, the crews would go out in the field to perform and wanna track their time against. Here's the jobs list and to get to the job screen, you're gonna click jobs up here at the top. On the left hand side, you can view jobs, whether they're active, inactive, or just all. And down here, we can do a search for a job. You can find help on jobs. So this will go through the job screen with you. And then you can create a job down here on the right. So there's two ways to create a job. We can import an estimate from LMN Estimating, or we can just add a job from scratch. I'll show you the scratch first, then we'll, one, uh, we'll bring one in from LMN Estimating. So to create a new job, we're just gonna click the new job button. First question it asks you, is this an install or construction job or is it a service job? Service would be maintenance, like uh, summer maintenance or snow and ice. I'll pick install. Job name. Uh, let's say we're just going out quickly to uh, throw some mulch down at a property. So the job name, we'll call it um, uh, Jones is mulching. Job address. And the customer name. Then we want to choose whether we want to track time against work areas or cost codes. And like we described in the setting, cost codes is going to be a little lighter on the details. Work area is going to be a little more detailed, but you'll get better information. I'll just leave work areas because we're going to create a very simple job here. Uh, if you hit the get lat long button, it'll go out and do a search on that address and actually return the lat and longitude for you. So if I hit show map, it's gone out and found that, that job on a map. The rest of the information you'll want to fill out include the job name, that's what you're going to call this job, whether it's install or service, we've set that already, a short name, this is the name that's going to show up on the cruise timesheet. Sometimes we have long job names, too, too long to, to uh, show well on a phone. So to put a shorter name or a nickname for a job in here, use the job short name. This is what your employees are going to see when they track time. I've got the address, the Latin long, the customer name, the customer address. And I can also set up street map, site map, and other links that the crews will be able to link to right when they're actually on their phones. If I jump to another job here quickly, I can show you here, I put a, a, a street map to this grounds maintenance job. The crews could actually hit this button and be taken to a, a street map for the job. And then obviously it will give them directions from wherever they are to get there. Or you could also put things in like a site map. And here I've just done a picture from Google Street View. Um, but you could also do an overhead shot and color the areas in that you want to be serviced, particularly handy for uh, grounds maintenance or snow and ice on commercial projects. You could also link to other, and that could be any other link you want. Uh, if you upload your job planners out of LMN estimates to a uh, uh, an online drive such as Google or Microsoft SkyDrive. You can put a link to that document right there. And again, your crews can see that right from in the field. Really handy stuff. Going back to the job we created here, Jones Mulching. Uh, I'm gonna skip the links for now, but I am gonna set up some tasks. Now you can't track time against a job unless it has at least one task. So even if you don't care about breaking a job down by tasks, you need to set up at least one. Now I've already got two default tasks set up in here and I've set these defaults up in my settings. We'll cover that in the advanced settings screen. To add a task to a job though, in this case, I'm gonna to wanna to track how much time we spent mulching. I'm just gonna hit add task, call it mulching, pick my uh, cost code. And again, this is, especially if you're doing QuickBooks exporting, you're gonna to wanna to do this. I'm gonna pick my accounting cost code, which is, uh, we'll call it grounds maintenance and how many estimated hours I've got. So if I think the crew of three should be there for two hours, three men times two hours is six total hours. So I'm gonna put six hours in there. We'll click okay. 
Now I've got tasks set up for extras and mulching and warranty. When my crew goes to clock their time into Jones Mulching, it's going to ask them which task they're working on. Chances are they're going to be doing the mulching, so they'll pick mulching and it'll start tracking your time. Now we can also set up hourly rates if we're billing this job by the hour or activities if we want to track uh, material billing by application, etc. But we're not going to set those up now. We're looking at the really simple view. We'll cover these in the job help videos down here where we get a little more detailed. There's another way to create a job and that is to import it from an element estimate. To do that, you want to click this import estimate button down here. Now it's asking you to search for your estimate. So if you know the estimate ID or the customer's name that you want to bring in, go ahead and search for it. I'm just going to click search. And the one I want to bring in is this uh, Harrison pool and patio job. So this job in, uh, has been estimated. The Harrisons have said, yeah, we love it. Go ahead and now we're ready to start. So over here, I'm going to click the import button. And it's going to ask me what work areas or tasks do I want to set up for time tracking. And in my estimate, I had pool installation, pool patio, pool gardens, landscape lighting. And in my settings, I've also set it up by default to add extras and warranty to each one of my construction jobs so that I could track those separately as well. So they come in automatically, but that's because of the settings. They weren't in the estimate. If the Harrisons have said OK to everything, I'm going to leave these all on. If the Harrisons came back and said, hey, we love this job. It's a little over budget. We don't want to do the lighting right now. I'm going to untick the lighting so that that doesn't come over for timekeeping. My crews will only track their time against the ones here that have been selected. But we'll assume in this case that they've got them all. So I'll select them all. We'll say import now. And what it's done now is create a job. I've got my job name, my short name, my address, my customer name and customer address. All that's been pulled from the LMN estimate. I can hit get lat long to do a... Um, a lat long locate on their address and if I hit show them out I found where that address is my tasks have been set up for me these are the work areas that are from my estimate so I clicked on tasks and now you can see I've got extras landscape lighting pool gardens pool installation etc so when the crews are clocking in they will clock their time against one of these tasks all the cost codes have been set up because again that's come over from the uh, work areas of my estimate and if I want to specify hourly rates, I can set those up as well. But again, we'll do that in a more advanced video on jobs. And that's it. That's how to set up jobs. I can set them up two ways. If you haven't done an LMN estimate, you're going to use the new job. That's a real quick and easy way to start up a job. You should be able to get any job set up in just a few seconds. The other way to import a job is import estimate. And that's going to bring it in from LMN estimating, bring all your work areas over, and then the job's ready for time tracking.